What's up guys, this is your boy the Average Gamer 98 over here back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile and in this video we are actually battling Martian Manhunter and Bane in tier 4 of Heroic 2 on Isolate. So let's get started with this video and I'm gonna walk over the teams as well as what I'm trying to achieve here. So I had a paltry 30 million left on Martian Manhunter so I decided to use the Justice League team. So you guys might be wondering why not use Justice League Aquaman because that is the standard team and why am I using classic Wonder Woman. So most of the bosses in solo raids do not have any defense and Justice League Aquaman kind of grants you an advantage where you can actually use armor pierce with the basic attacks. So that is kind of not required if you do not have any defense on the boss. So in this particular scenario, I have Justice League The Flash with the Dark Metal Cards artifact which kind of guarantees me more critical attack damage. And right now, because the on ice solo raid artifacts, the cryo artifacts kind of give attack boost for all the team instead of just the wearer. So it kind of gives me an advantage to use a different damage dealing artifact on the damage dealer rather than using the Nora Snow Globe. So here in this particular scenario, I have the Nora Snow Globe on Justice League Cyborg and I have another cryo artifact called the cryo battery on classic Wonder Woman and classic Wonder Woman is kind of used because she gives additional critical attack damage apparently since I think my dark metal cards artifact is at you know level 5 I get 150% additional critical attack damage and with Wonder Woman I get additional 60% critical attack damage which means I get totally additional 210 critical attack damage but my Justice League The Flash is completely built, so he has a 300% critical attack damage and I don't get 510, that is 300 plus 210, I get capped out at 500% critical attack damage. So which means this Justice League The Flash is now having 500% critical attack damage, which is why I am getting some decent amount of damage as you can see here. I could easily finish off 30 million health with just the combo interruption and the basic hits. Only one SP3 from Justice League Flash. So now let's move on to Bane here. So what does Bane do? Bane, you know, gets additional defense as well as attack boost the longer one single character stays in the battle. So this is the team that I'm going to use. I'm going to use Batman Who Loves with the Sword of Sin so that I can power drain and... Uh, also, there is another modifier for Bane that is if you have a power, uh, you know, uh, like special power special basically <laughs> done from Bane, then what would happen is you would be not be able to tag out if you're not blocking the special. So I have King of Atlantis Aquaman here with the Nora Snow Globe so that I can get the clones and do more damage. And I have de-equipped the gears on King of Atlantis Aquaman as well. So King of Atlantis Aquaman here has three gears at this point of time so that, you know, it can get knocked out fast and then I can solo with the clone. And here I have Dr. Fate with the father box so that I can do some combo. And as you can see here, guys, uh, like uh, as I'm inflicting the burn, it's going to be power draining. And if you switch the characters this into one defense and into one attack is going to get decreased. So now... Transforming Batman who laughs into the Darkest Night form so that I can do percentage health reduction. So I would need a couple of percentage health reduction here. And if I have the Joker as Batrang, that should work with only one percentage reduction because it's going to trigger more fast attacks. And as a result, you would be able to do the percentage health reduction faster. So here we are trying to transform again with Batman who laughs and before that since there was a lot of power I decided to you know go into King of Atlantis Aquaman and do an SP3 and now transforming into the darkest night form from Batman who laughs doing the basic attacks still the percentage health reduction is complete now it's kind of complete so tagging in King of Atlantis Aquaman again doing an sp3 so a couple of sp3 is done so this is an advantage with the Norris snow globe you know exactly how much you know you are doing with the sp3s like into three means three sp3s have been already done so now just doing a combo interruption i tried to do a combo interruption and thought like uh, maybe he would attack and finish off but he was not finishing it off so that's why i started the combo interruption again and now he's knocked out which means the clone comes in and you can see the clone is also getting stacks of you know uh, pain's attack that is into six and into six that you can see here into six into seven defense so we are now with the clone and we are doing a combo interruption and continuing uh, the full-fledged combo so that we can end up doing the final sp3 so one sp3 has been done so this is the next sp3 coming in and you can see 
<laughs> the bonus is on uh you know bane it's going insane guys it's going kind of insane and by the way so here a pain does have a damage protection cap so i think that's why i'm not getting a huge amount of damage like you could say 14 million is the maximum amount of dot that i'm getting and that is because it's kind of fixed so it's not 10 percent. so he has a damage protection cap so into 10 for pain guys into 10 for pain doing another sp3 here and i'm able to do the combo interruption pretty easily here even though the clone doesn't have a lot of health and pain has such boosted stacks it's still going fine guys it's still going fine into 12 guys into 12 <laughs> Huge defense cap, huge defense increase. And by the way, guys, if this pip, like if the boss didn't have, you know, any damage modifier, I think it would have been much, much easier to finish off this boss in the couple of pips that I would be playing in this particular uh, video. Tried to do something here, nothing helps. Into 13 is the maximum amount that we got. So, what's the amount of damage that we did with King of Atlantis Aquaman plus Batman who laughs? We were able to do 260, which is way, way more than 50% uh, of the 469. I think yep. uh, 230 million would have been the 50%. So we did manage to do more than 50% of the boss's health. And keep in mind, this is with, you know, the modifier of damage protection. So still 50% is a decent amount of damage. Let's look at the next pip here. And I'm going to jump into the next pip. And this is with Deathstroke. And Deathstroke uh, now is having the Nora snow globe so you guys might wonder why do i have arkham knight batman in the team and harpy scarecrow in the team and the reason is arkham knight batman is gonna give health plus defense to agility and tech characters and deathstroke is an agility character and as a result i would be able to survive because my deathstroke has only one gear so he's gonna get a lot of defense as well as health so it would be able to survive uh and uh, the clone would also get in turn more health which would help me to survive and do more sp2s so tagging in here and here is that stroke going in and doing an sp2 did 8 million damage and i thought it would knock it out but it didn't knock out <laughs> the guys this is just one gear at that stroke with arkham knight batman doing the entire entire stuff out there so I decided to, you know, continue doing the SPs from Deathstroke and not tag out anymore. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this would, you know, increase the attack from Bane and it would make it easier for Bane to knock out Deathstroke. And as you can see here, guys, the combo interruption was pretty flawless, I would say, in this particular uh, scenario. Like, I did manage to survive and just keeping a lookout on how much damage I am doing with the sp2 because now i saw like there is no percentage reduction that means i can happily get that stroke knocked out and as you can see guys a tag out is disabled because i took an unblocked special again tag out is disabled the duration is not very long though so that's 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 a good sign and uh here i am this is why i had hsc so uh, like if hsc was not there bane would have been able to do a special so trying to corner him and once he's cornered it's 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 easy easy stuff guys it's easy stuff just do the combo interruption and just keep on doing sp3 rather sp2 sorry <laughs> yeah doing an sp2 from uh, deathstroke again and the combo interruption and sp2 so that's how the gameplay is and there is another trick up here so that is like i'm not completing the full set of sp2s from this particular clone because i don't know how much a number of how many number of sp2s uh, i'm doing i'm not counting so uh, before it hits an sp2 where i'm not getting any damage from the sp2 at all that is the health reduction is not taking place it's better to get this particular clone kind of knocked off so this is the number of sp2s i did the fixed number of sp2s i did and now i decided it's better to get this knocked off so i didn't do any sp2s and get it knocked off and get the death stroke knocked off as well and i made sure like he had power to do a special so this kind of guarantees me a couple of more in fact i did three more sp2s with the second clone which is pretty good stuff i would say dealing additional 12 percent odd damage so that's an interesting stuff guys that's an interesting stuff with the deathstroke pip and that did additional 119 which is again more than the 50 percent of health that was left so stay tuned guys for the next pips i think i could easily finish it off with black manta hopefully we'll finish it off with black manta and move into tier 5 of heroic 2 
on i solo raid so thanks guys for watching this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here signing off you guys take care and i'm gonna see you in the next one Bye bye